Are we experiencing deja vu, folks? It seems like we're witnessing a repeat of history with Robinhood 2.0. Many European users have reported a frustrating situation with their brokers, where they're unable to buy or sell more AMC or GameStop shares. Let's delve into the details. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Daily Stock Update. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But before that, alert, this is not a financial advice video. A screenshots circulating on internet show that AMC is currently suspended, meaning you can't trade this instrument at the moment. This suspension could be due to various reasons, such as a corporate action or company announcement. However, it's worth noting that Robinhood, the original culprit in the GameStop saga, at least allowed users to sell their shares. In this case, it appears that even selling is not an option due to corporate actions or similar issues. So what's really going on? Well, it's possible that AMC is in the process of issuing new shares, with around 40 million shares on the horizon. However, the plot thickens when we consider that they were also working with financial giants like Citi, Goldman Sachs, and Pirelli to issue shares for open market offerings, primarily aimed at institutional investors. This divergence from the GameStop situation raises eyebrows. Some users are sharing a different narrative, receiving emails from their brokers indicating a specific issue in the U.S. that's preventing European clearinghouses from allowing brokers to hold or trade these securities. Apparently, the root cause here lies in increased capital requirements set by the Depository Trust Company, specifically targeting GameStop and AMC. Brokers are left apologizing for the inconvenience, emphasizing that this decision was not made by them, but is rather related to new updates from the DTC. It's somewhat amusing how these emails conclude, with warnings that share prices can fluctuate and you might end up with less than your initial investment, reminiscent of Adam Aram's statements before the reverse stock split. He had mentioned that stock prices can go both up and down, ultimately subject to the whims of the stock market. Now, with the filing of those ominous 40 million shares, cautionary words are once again uttered, warning investors of extremely high risks. Let's try to unravel the mystery behind these restrictions and suspensions. Ironically, this situation echoes the events of 2021 when Robin Hood faced similar scrutiny during the GameStop frenzy. However, there's a significant difference. This time, the stocks aren't on an upward trajectory. They're firmly entrenched in a downward trend. Some observers even note that they've never seen a stock maintain such a flat, oversold position on the RSI for such an extended period, an unprecedented phenomenon. One might think that with the stock down significantly, short sellers would jump at the chance to purchase shares or wait for fresh new shares from other sources to close their positions. However, it appears that the risk associated with making shares available for trading is a significant deterrent. It could imply that the broker is over-leveraged, providing more securities for trading than the backing code and cash reserves can support. This situation is reminiscent of what transpired with Robinhood when it was revealed that they provided excessive leverage and margin options without sufficient initial cash requirements. They had to raise billions overnight to cover the shortfall. While this could be an internal glitch or liquidity mismatch within the broker or one of the clearinghouses, it's crucial to note that this issue seems to pertain exclusively to GameStop and AMC, as reported by users. This makes it all the more intriguing. Friends, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about today's video? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.